Hello traders and welcome to CrisFX. Today I will take you through a strategy which combines the 1 hour time frame with the 1 minute time frame in order for you to be able to become profitable. This is pretty much a continuation to my previous video which was combining the 15 minute time frame with the 1 minute time frame but now we are gonna show that you can do the very same thing with the 1 hour and the 1 minute time frame. Now let's go ahead first and draw on the board what you will be expecting and how you're gonna be using this strategy and then I'm gonna show you several real examples on the chart. Let's begin with the video. So guys, you will be using first of all the one hour time frame and I'm gonna use this pencil in order for me to draw. Let me show you an uptrend example, usually I'm showing downtrends which for some reason look better to me. So here we suppose that we are creating higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so this is a higher high, this is a higher low, higher highs compared to something that existed in the past, let's say, and this is a higher low. And here we have some fair value gap or several fair value gaps of the one hour time frame. So I am going ahead and I am identifying all of them right here. Okay. So one fair value gap is here. Another fair value gap, let's say, is exactly right here. Or otherwise, I can go ahead and highlight the fair value gaps like that to make it easier for you to read, let's say, the chart. Now, I am expecting on the one hour time frame for price to get back to any one of these areas. For this strategy, it will not matter if you are in a premium or a discount. This is just a simple strategy if you want to learn extremely high probability strategies with, of course, proof, then you can go ahead and join the academy or the mentoring with me and you can check out proof also in the trading signals of trades that I'm calling on a regular basis. Here, when price will be going back to your one hour fair value gap, the first one, let's say, in this occasion, you will be instantly scaling down to the one minute time frame. So now we will say that this area right here, we will magnify it and we will say that this is the very same area, this area right here, is this area right here on the one minute time frame. What am I gonna do right here? I am gonna be waiting for the very same thing, for an inversion, let's say, fair value gap, or otherwise, let's suppose that we are entering in such a way, right here, let's say that we have created something like that on the one minute time frame, and we have a fair value gap from this side, which has been untested, I will be expecting for this to be violated with another candlestick. If this thing happens now, I will be going ahead if this fair value gap that was untested right here, if it is not tested at all when price gets back to this area. So if we don't have the slightest reaction, I will be going ahead and I will be placing my order instantly with a stop loss right below the area and I will be targeting other areas of liquidity or you can go for a 2 to 1 at least and when you go at 1 to 1 reward to risk, go ahead and place your stop loss at break even. Let's just go ahead and show some real examples so that you will be able to identify it in the real charts on your own and trade this simple strategy which is a continuation of course of the previous strategy as I said. Let's now go to the charts. And for this one, I'm going to show you some simple examples right here and you will see that we don't even need to use premium and discount concepts. As an example, here on this move, if I take this gun box and I draw it, let's say from here until here, you will see that we are not even close to a discount in order to be buying. Nonetheless, I will leave this on for the moment. Nonetheless, when, if I go, let's say, all the way back here and I highlight my fair value gaps, I have this fair value gap 
and I have of course this fair value gap over here from the hourly time frame and I have one all the way down here, okay? This is pretty easy for you to see. I have those three fair value gaps. For this strategy, again, as I said, you will not care about a premium or a discount. Let's go ahead and scale down to the one minute time frame and check out now that price has tapped on this area of ours, do we have something like the thing that I showed you? And easily you can see that we don't have such pattern. I am going forward. Once the pattern starts being created, I will tell you instantly. So I proceed. Now here, guys, since even if this thing penetrates, we don't care. If this fair value gap that was untested over here, if this gets penetrated by a body, and this right here, I will call it like that, okay? We don't care about it. If it gets penetrated by a body, and to answer a viewer's question, somebody had a beautiful question, or if it gets penetrated by multiple bodies. So one thing that can happen is that this will break above this fair value gap that got untested, that was untested. And let me minimize this one. I don't want to confuse you. We are within the one hour time frame, uh, within the one hour fair value gap, excuse me. So either we will create a candlestick, this is a bullish candlestick, which will violate this FEG, or even if it happens with multiple candlesticks, this is absolutely fine. For example, two candlesticks, as long as we don't have the slightest reaction within this area. So if this candlestick would leave a week or would do something like that on a lower time frame, on a second time frame, if it leaves a week, let's say, so if we go ahead, let me move this thing over here. If this would come here and it would create a week and then the next would break, then this you cannot use. You will understand what I'm talking about. It is pretty easy to understand. So I will show you exactly right now if the pattern happens. We are within the one hour FVG. Okay. Now we have violated it totally, but let's see. Okay. This thing right now, even this thing, you will tell me, Chris, why would will you be taking this thing? This broke below the one hour time frame. Yes, you have to realize that this is a week being created on the hourly time frame. So this is a week. So we are still respecting the fair value gap. So here we did break with a body above this green area that I have, above this untested FEG. If this week that you see down here, up here, sorry, if this week that you see would have been inside this area, you wouldn't be taking the trade. It would violate what I'm teaching you. Here the trade can go exactly right here. You can even place a smaller stop loss. Okay, the stop loss can go even below this candlestick if you want to increase the RR, but I was teaching it that it has to go below this candlestick. Here we are on the one minute time frame. This is only 3.4 pips stop loss. Let's go ahead and check out what happens. Okay, there you go. And let's check out when we do hit the one to one. We have hit the one to one reward to risk. What you will do now, you can move the stop loss at break even and you will be targeting a two to one overall reward to risk. Let's see a two to one reward to risk is being hit. And the funniest thing is that I have not checked this specific example right here. I have seen that it reacted on the hourly time frame, but I have not checked this one specifically. Now, if you wouldn't enter from this area and you would be later on in front of your chart, what could you do? Let's say that you didn't enter here, then price retraced. You can check out if the same thing happened right here. And yes, the same thing has happened right here. Do not wait for any silly retracements. Take the trade as it is. It is only 
seven pips, you can add a little bit if you want to do it three pips as an example. Okay, and do the very same thing. One to one, stop loss at break even, target two to one or an area of liquidity, such as this area. Even this would give you way higher RR, a 2.4 to one record to risk. Let me move forward and see for how long this trade went. And this is absolutely spectacular, actually. This even grabbed this liquidity right here. Okay, there you go. And if I move even forward, let's see. Okay, now then, no, we keep going and going and going. And now we are in current price action, actually, guys. Okay, we are at current price action. So this would have been a fantastic trade over here. And I showed you that this happened in a premium, not in a discount. We bought in a premium. Let's go ahead now and show some more examples, guys. Okay, whatever we see here in front of our charts as we see them, there you go. I will even take you here because you will say that, Chris, well, you're doing all of this in retrospect. Let's go ahead and see how many trades we would be having. And we will see if I'm doing all of that in retrospect. We have a fair value gap exactly right here. And I'm going to show you this example as well. And we can do any single fair value gap, let's say, that we see within all of this leg right here. I have no problem. I can do all of those for you. So let's go ahead and do this one first. So right here, guys, we have this fair value gap of the hourly. We will be expecting for price to get back into our area. Of course, OK, right here, I already see my pattern. So we are right here. We are within the FEG. Do I have a fair value gap which, if it gets violated without a single reaction, without a reaction, if it gets violated with a body or two bodies, okay, above it, then I want to take the trade. I have this fair value gap right here, okay, this one right here. Let me go ahead and minimize this hourly FEG so that it is easier for you to see. There you go. So if this now breaks above with a body, I'm following the rules. Okay, let's see. Okay, this broke with a body of the one minute without giving the singlest, the slightest, let's say, reaction. What did I tell you we are doing? We are taking the trade with a stop loss right below the area. You can add a little bit if you want, 0.1 pips. And at one to one, I'm placing my stop loss at break even. I will take all of the trades. OK, stop loss at break even. We are at break even. So we didn't lose a trade here. OK, let's see if we have a chance to re-enter. Even though this type of trade, I wouldn't want to re-enter. Yep, nothing. I will extend now the hourly FEG. This was a break even, as you saw. Let's see if we have a deeper reaction. Here, let me teach you that. Here, this is an area, let's say, of invalidation, even though, to be totally honest with you, the full invalidation would happen all the way up here. So we forget this example. There are multiple FVGs, bearish FVGs, that need to be violated. So we forget about this example. I go back to the hourly time frame. And I'm checking out if I have any anything else, let's say. I don't have anything else. Let me then go ahead right here and show you all of those examples as we said. So I am right here on the hourly. I'm going backwards every single example. I have an FEG, okay guys, an FEG of the hourly time frame. Okay, let me control a little bit if the voice is proper and if I'm recording properly, everything is proper. Okay. I have an FEG of the hourly. If I retrace into this FEG on the one minute time frame, let's zoom in and do it step by step together. Let's see. Okay. Which is the point of invalidation right here? If I break above this one, this bearish FEG with a body of the one minute, I'm entering long. Did I do that? I didn't do that, guys. I have a week. Even the slightest week prohibits us from doing that. 
Let's see though about the next candlestick, of course this is not a trade that we would take, even if it works. Let's wait a little bit more and see if it gets created later on. Ok, now, if this one gets invalidated with a body then I'm also gonna be entering. Now, probably we can still use this one because this is a week on a higher time frame, on the hourly time frame. Let's see if this gets invalidated, this is not a trade that I would be taking. Ok, so this is not a trade that you would be taking, let's go back in time and check out for further FVGs, there you go. I'm doing all the FVGs on this leg. So until here we didn't have a trade, we had a break even and a 2 to 1 reward to risk. Here I have an FVG of the hourly time frame. What I will do, again, I will wait for price to get back into my area and I will scale down to the 1 minute time frame, guys. Let's check it out together. Do I have an FVG right here that can be violated? No, I don't. So I keep moving forward. Let's see. We don't, still we don't have anything here, still. Okay, here, if this gets violated impulsively, this one gets violated impulsively with a body, I will still take it. It might be below my fair value gap, but this will be a week on the higher time frame. Beautiful, this is fantastic. I have not seen those examples again. Now, let's check out if the stop loss is huge. Of course, it is just a small stop loss of 4.4 pips. Okay, it looks huge. Don't go ahead and place a pending order here. There's no point in doing that. First profit, actually break even at 1 to 1 or whatever your rules say, beautiful. And then you can go ahead and target a 2 to 1 or areas of liquidity. So I'm doing all of those examples and as you see I'm buying on a premium with this strategy. So here guys you would have hit easily your 2 to 1 reward to risk or this liquidity right here for a 2.3 to 1 reward to risk, ok, and then you would have been stopped out. Actually, for the rest, if you would be closing partials or if you would be going for a 2 to 1, you would have won this trade as well. Let's go ahead and show a final example, I would say. Actually, here you see that we have an example even after a grab of liquidity. So if I take you back in time, here you start combining things as I'm teaching in the academy, of course, and the mentoring. I'm teaching way more things than this one and way higher probability things. But if we are to take this very simple strategy and apply it here and tell ourselves now that we have a one hour fair value gap right here, plus there is a bunch of liquidity, let's do that because you might get confused below this area right here. And of course what I drew right here is trendline liquidity. Anyways, let's leave this area right here or even this additional area as areas of liquidity. Price, ok, this is a little bit too impulsive, so let's go down to the one minute and check out how this thing is entering inside our area. So here, we already violated what we wanted to violate. Oops, one moment, here you go, I will be zooming in. Inside the hourly fair value gap, what do I have? We know that we are inside, let's check out if we create an FEG of the one minute. Yes, we did. There you go, this is a fair value gap of the one minute time frame. If we violate this thing with a body of the one minute time frame, what did we say? We take the trade right away, right ahead, let's say, with a stop loss below this area. This is scalping entry, let's say, because those are very, very small stop losses, as you can see. Do not do it 2.3, increase it a little bit, do it 2.6 as an example. And here in this occasion, you might not want to go ahead and go at break even, you might want to go ahead since you have a very small stop loss and target at least this area instantly. You have the retest even, as you can see. Beautiful guys, we hit 
this area right here and let's see for how long this played out let's see if we have something spectacular as a target let's say being hit okay this is kind of amazing i would say let me see as an example if we would be hitting this area of liquidity for an 8.621 and yes guys we would not only that we would be hitting all of these areas 18 to 1 let's see for how long this went if we knew the future this would have gone for a total of 37 to 1 reward to risk guys if we knew the future so you can see that you can trade it however you want you can even start closing partials all along the way from a higher time frame close one here or the whole trade second here third here for example you can do things like that this is absolutely up to you i'm giving you right here on chris fx this is why you have to subscribe and like the video because the gold that i'm giving you right here and the examples that i'm showing back to back as you can see without hiding anything no one else out there is doing they are all showing you the same shitty strategies which do not work guys and of course if you want to learn way more things of how i'm analyzing the markets top-down analysis very important thing in order to be able to go both ways okay against your bias let's say because you have to reach your bias in order to go with your bias then go ahead and enroll in the academy or the mentoring or of course the trading signals i also have lifetime programs where you pay one time and you have access forever which are the cheapest in the market guys by far the cheapest from a trader such as myself as i said like the video and subscribe guys and share it with all of your trading friends this is gonna do it for today traders and thank you all for watching until next time